Today's adventures brings us to Grand Prairie, Texas, just outside of Dallas, to the Lewis Toussaint's Wax Museum. Full disclosure, we're not a big fan of this wax museum, but they have, most Lewis Toussaint's have a pretty darn amazing chamber of horrors. So that is what we're gonna check out today. This has gotta be one of the coolest, if not the coolest, photo spot, photo opportunity. I survived the Wax Museum of Fear. There's Jessica in a coffin. Look at extra spooky, baby girl. I could be mistaken, but she's a wax figure. She's part of the museum now. The first room we walk into it says Red Rum. Obviously, this is The Shining. There's the twins right there, the Grady twins. Oh, they're, they're laughing. I don't know about you, Jessica, but I feel like in our apartment, we have to have a wall that says Red Rum. Some of these rooms get a little loud. That's amazing. The Wax Museum of Fear. If they had it on a shirt, I'd buy it. They have a display case here filled with skulls and bones under a black light. That's awesome. Not entirely sure what we're walking into. Jessica pointed out on the roof, well, on the ceiling right above us, there is a pendulum. So, this is very something out of the pit in the pendulum. But straight ahead, there's a TV playing the ring. I don't really know what to make. The floor is creaking. As soon as we turn the corner, we see that it's the ghost girl from the ring standing right there at a well. Have a display here for Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake, Jason Voorhees. That's pretty neat. Looks like we're walking into a crypt. Dracula's crypt. Oh, this is just amazing. Nosferatu. I can hear something over here. Oh, it's a coffin in the corner. Can't really see it, can you? It's just Dracula. Oh my word. Look how beautiful that looks. And there's a giant bat up there too. Very nice. Oh, there's so much more. More flickering lights. Oh 
my gosh. Talk about an amazing display. more of a werewolf but he's massive Another crypt, this time filled with skeletons on the wall. What are we walking into now? Well, it definitely looks like somebody died here. Definitely got some creepy dolls. And I already know what we're gonna go look at right now. It says, warning, positively do not touch. Annabelle. Right? Annabelle. There's an old car in here. It's like walking through a haunted house. Whoa! Oh, they got gotcha. you? That got me down. There's a section over here devoted to what looks to be the one and only Night of the Living Dead. That's awesome. That's creepy. I wish I can get in there for a photo. Oh. Right now I'm walking and looking up because they have all these props up here, but you can already tell that it's Nightmare on Elm Street. too happy to be honest. Very simple display here for the creature from the Black Lagoon. I wish that they did a little bit more with them, but they do have the light show. Well, you know, the light rippling like it's water. This has got to be alien. Well, right there is Predator. And I can already tell right across the room here. That's pretty intense. That's really intense. That's cool.
Next room, welcome to Heart O Texas Barbecue. It makes sense, of course it would be the Texas Barbecue. It would be the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. There's our bones in the grill right there on the barbecue. That's just neat. everywhere man what on earth Never stays a day. A battle's always a coming my way. 